Hi, I'm Paul Drew from Studio One Expert. Today I'm going to show you the new features in Revoice Pro 3.2 that benefit us Studio One users. So what we used to have to do with Revoice Pro and Studio One was to insert the Revoice Pro plugin inside an insert in our channel and then physically record it into Revoice Pro. So now we can copy and paste from Studio One straight into Revoice Pro and we can drag and drop from Revoice Pro into Studio One. There's a couple of things we need to do just to set that up first though. So let's do that. So let's open up my settings in Revoice Pro. I'm going to go to settings there and also my settings in Studio One. Let's go to song setup there. As you can see, we're working at 25 frames. So let's change this to 25 frames. Now our display offset is zero, zero here. And as you'll see, the simty time here and the real time here has got a one there. So we're just going to change that back to naught. If we come down here, this copy and paste DAW, we're going to change it down to Studio One 3 and later. And last of all, we're just going to change the BPM settings in Revoice Pro to match the 100 BPM that's in Studio One. And that's all we have to do. Let's just close this. OK, now what I do is to click on the audio file that I want to copy over to Revoice Pro. Go Command C. Go over to Revoice Pro. Command V and it copies it straight into our track here. Now let's do the same for our backing vocals here. So Command C in Studio One, go down to Audio 2 and Paste. Command C, Command V. Let's go down to our Harmony track here. Command C and Revoice Pro, Command V. As you can see, all of our names have changed as well. Okay, so let's just hear what we've got here. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it, nothing at all. So twisted and broken, lost in the storm, my heart is... So as you can hear, there's a couple of tuning problems uh, and the, the timing of all of the tracks are completely out with one another. So first of all, what I want to do is to make a warp region here. So I click on the top track, make a warp region. I click on this button here and we're going to find out where the problem note is. So let's just stretch it out and have a listen. My heart is an ocean. And there's the problem note. So we're just going to push that note up to there. Now let's have another listen. My heart is an ocean. Nothing can save it. Nothing at all. Okay, great. So now that's fixed. What I want to do is to repair the timing of all of these tracks so they all match each other. So let's remind ourselves again how it sounds. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it, nothing at all. So what I want to do is now to fix the timing of all of those tracks. So I'm going to push the B key, which starts up a new process. We're going to select APT. My guide is my lead vox, one in brackets five there. My dub is my lead vox two, four there. We're going to push the Fix Offset button here, create multiple processes, just going to change this to two, and keep it on Outputs. Push New Process. OK, let's mute the two double tracks there and hear that again. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it, nothing at all. So twisted and broken, lost in the storm, my heart is... OK, let's remind ourselves how it sounded before. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it, nothing at all. So as you can see, the time is completely out. Now let's play that again with the timing fixed. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it. Nothing at all. So now what I want to do is to get the files out of Revoice Pro back into Studio One. So I'm going to hold down Shift and Alt. I'm going to click on the top file here. When the WAV icon appears here, I let go of Shift and Alt and I just drag into Studio One. Now all these are my original files, so we don't need to worry about these. I'm going to go down to my fixed tracks here. These are my fixed double tracks. Hold down Shift and Alt. When the WAV icon appears, let go of Shift and Alt and drag it into Studio One. Same again for this track. Now let's remind ourselves what we started out with. 
Okay, let's delete these files. I'm going to highlight these files here. Go edit, move to origin. Now let's listen. So I'm Paul Drew from Studio One Expert. Hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.